Select kitchen items for living local provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the Skint and Den Kitchen. It is National Blueberry Pie Day, Josh. Is there a better day than Blueberry Pie Day? I know. Blueberries are your favorite, aren't they? The top of the list in the pantheon of fruit. It's like blueberries, strawberries, everything else. Well, lucky for you, we love an excuse to celebrate. Let's do it. So what we've got over here, we've got about four to six cups of blueberries. I like to make extra because, you know, we like the snacks. Can never so have enough. You can never have enough. So these blueberries have been washed already. So we're going to go ahead and toss them in a saucepan. If you would be so kind as to measure out about three quarters of a cup to one cup okay. of sugar for me. This recipe is really probably quick and easy. Closer to one cup. Here. That's fine. You do what you got to do. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to the blueberries. Just kind of saute them around. I want to make the point, I think you pre-made some crust this morning. Yes. Everybody's been walking through the newsroom asking, like, what, what is, is Bisky making smell? in the kitchen today? We have good stuff today. Now you have your answer. So I went ahead and made the pie crust ahead of time just because I like to do it to where you can set everything up and just let it sit mm -hmm. and enjoy it. So we're going to go ahead and add the sugar to the blueberries. It makes a nice kind of a syrup. And if you want to go ahead and measure me out half a teaspoon of vanilla, we'll add that in there as well. Vanilla. I know a lot of people don't think about putting vanilla do we in still with have the blueberries. Some left after last week? Yes, we do. We did use a lot last week. But how was your cheesecake, by the way? So I left it here on Friday because we got busy with the weather, mm -hmm. and it was here this weekend, and I totally forgot that it was in the fridge for me. I took it home yesterday, had a slice. The good stuff. Slept amazing. Nice. Okay, lean in, dump it in. Oh, oh. As we make messes, that's what we do best. Oh, can you smell those blueberries? Put a little more in there. Ah, just a little bit, not quite another full one. There you go. Count for the spillage. Exactly. And then if you want to measure me out um, one teaspoon of lemon juice, I like to add lemon juice. You can use that one. Double up? Yeah. I like to add lemon juice because it really gives those blueberries just a little bit of zing. Gotta have the zing. You do have to have that zing. What is life without zing, Josh? All right, here I go. You can do it. Well, it already smells amazing. Doesn't it smell so good? So we're just stirring it. Yeah, there you go. Your favorite pie? Then yeah. it's a tough. This, I can. I will tell you though. I could probably eat all of this in one set. Could you really? <laughs> yes. If I <laughs> sit down and start working on this, this is actually my Josh's favorite pie. He loves blueberries. I'm with him. Well. This is one of his favorites. So it's like a hot commodity in our house okay. when we make it. How often? Not too often because we have you to fit know. in clothes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I would make it all the time if I could. Okay, so you're seeing that it's starting to look a little juicy over here. Mm -hmm. There's lots of liquid. So we're actually going to add, you can add a little bit of cornstarch or a little bit of all-purpose flour just to kind of thicken it up. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit at a time. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want it to be too just kind of eyeball it. Clumpy, yeah. And it's still going to look a little bit runny, but once you put it in the pie crust and let it set up, oh man. Good to go. It is good to go. Get and some cinnamon over here. Oh yeah, don't forget about the cinnamon. You want to add a little sprinkle in? A little sprinkle? Yeah, just a light sprinkle. You see it's got big openings there, so don't, right. don't get too crazy. Yes, perfect. Yes, you just want just a dash of cinnamon because it really brings all of those flavors together. Add a little bit more of a thickening agent. Like I said, it's kind of an eyeball. You can take up to three tablespoons. You can take a little less. You never know. Just depends on the day. So. Just a few minutes and that's it? That's it, man. Now the trick is you do have to let it sit up for a few hours okay. before you cut into it. Otherwise, sure. it'll just be a big poof. Gooey mess. Exactly. Let it cool. Yes. So we've thickened that up a little bit. We've actually got our pie crust over here, which we went ahead and dusted with cinnamon. And a really easy recipe for a pie crust, by the way, is two cups of flour one stick of butter and a sprinkle of salt okay. and a little bit of ice water. Blend it all together. That's it. Let it chill. Sure. You got a pie crust. So I'm going to add, scooch back. I'm going to go ahead and add our blueberries here and let it set up. Doesn't that look so pretty? Yeah, it does. I love the colors of you're blueberries. Sure you're going to top that whole thing with all of those blueberries? No. So you there's a little surprise got a little for extra you. Over. Yes. So behind you, I had some extra pie crust. So we just made extra pie crust pieces and we put them in the bowl. So instead of waiting forever for it to all set up, it's kind of cheating. Yes. 
because I know that you were impatient. You can't wait a couple hours I for can't pie. Can't wait a couple hours for that. No. Come on. So there you go. There is your sampler. If you wanted to top this with some vanilla ice cream. I was going to ask, what would you put on top of that? Vanilla ice cream, fresh whipped cream, all kinds of good stuff. You but, put anything. Yeah, but you stick this pie in the fridge for a few hours. When you go back, it'll be set. You can cut it up. It's going to be delicious and a great way to celebrate National Blueberry Pie Day. But you know what we've got to celebrate right now, Josh? Giving away free stuff. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> it. So you know what time it is. We're ready to announce today's prize winners for the Shreveport Regional Art Council's fundraiser, Club 365. You can join the club and have... Ten. That's right, ten chances to win all year long. Just go to joinclub365.com. And now for today's prize winner.